Can ChatGPT write the HTML files for your web application running in Parse? Let's find out together. So here I have a basic Parse app that I created in Backfrap with a person class, and it, this class has three uh, properties, a name, which is a string, age, which is a number, and is employee, which is a boolean. And here I wrote a very quick code that will retrieve the schemas for this class. Now, I could describe this class to ChatGPT manually, but I want to see how technical this can get. Can it interpret the schema correctly and write HTML and JavaScript code based on that schema? So let's see that. So this code basically runs a run function that contains a parse schema for the person class. It is will retrieve the schema and print out to my console. And I'm going to paste that schema into ChatGPT. So let's just run this node index.js. Here is the schema for my class. As you can see, it contains all the properties. So string, date, and uh, create that as date, create update that as date, ACL, name as a string, age as a number, and is employee as boolean. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go to ChatGPT version 4, and in here I'm going to write the prompt. So I have a parse app created in Backfrap with the following schema. And I'm going to paste the schema in and ask it to create the JavaScript and HTML so I can add new users to that class, a new persons to that class. So write a HTML and the JavaScript code that allows to add new objects to this class. Keep all code in just one file. So this is important so it won't create a JavaScript file, a HTML file, and CSS file independently as it's not the purpose of this video. If you want to break this in three files, which you really should, then you don't have to pass this last part of the prompt. Let's see how that goes. It wrote the person class correctly, so it got it from the class name over here. And it's telling me that I have to change the app ID and JavaScript key in order for it to work. So it started a basic HTML file. It even added a title for it, so add person. It used the uh, parse SDK for JavaScript that is uh, deployed to Cloudflare in version 3.4.0, wrote some code to initialize parse, set the URL correctly for back, parseapi.backfrap.com, and created an async function at person that extends the person class, which is correct got the name, age, and is employee from fields that it's probably going to create later, set it to those variables, and try to save, and use alert to show success or failure. So, so far the code is really good. So it's now creating a form so I can populate with the information I need giving IDs to all these fields. It even used a checkbox for the uh, Boolean type. It seems correct, so let's copy all this code, go back to Visual Studio, and in here I'm going to create a new file, paste that in, and save it as index.html, and remember we have to change the app ID and JavaScript key, so I'm going to get those values from my other application, so app ID, 
JavaScript key. I'm going to save it. And now let's try to open it from uh, our Google Chrome. From my desktop, parse and index HTML. Let's try to add Davi, which is 43. And yes, Davi is an employee. So at person, it says it uh, was added successfully. So let's go back to our parse app. And there you go, you have the V43 and true. So as you can see, you can use ChatGPT to create the front end for your uh, parse app. All you have to do is to prompt it correctly. You can describe it manually or you can use the schema as I did, which I think it's a better way because you don't have to describe too much text manually. So, if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful for you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.